Hey guys, Cameron and Yoko here at the brand new Funko HQ. We are so excited. We have been waiting for this day for so long. So many cool things to show off. I don't think you guys even have any idea. No, we're gonna go on a journey today. We really are. Let's start. So our first stop is Wetmore Forest. As you can see, we've kind of brought our new creatures to life and have given them a habitat all their own. Again, if you're not familiar with Wetmore Forest, they are creatures that are created by our own team. So our very first pop monster was Tumblebee, so we had to kind of immortalize him here. Every Tumblebee plush has been hugged by Yoko, so just know I'm that. I'm working on it. It's so soft, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna head on into the next universe. Yes, our next stop Which is, is Gotham. Gotham. <laughs> Gotham comes in a few different stages. At first you get to see Arkham Asylum right here, a couple of bad guys locked up, and you can find a bunch of DC items in this section, uh, ranging from Justice League to 60s Batman and all sorts of stuff. There's also your other TV show favorites in here too, not Gotham related, but Westworld, Game of Thrones, Golden Girls, Bob Ross. Gotta have hanging Bob out Ross. In just, Gotham. Just hanging in Gotham. <laughs> um, and then of course, it's, you can't really ignore the uh, Batmobile right here. This is designed as a photo op. Yes, so there is a place to Would sit. Would like to Please. demonstrate? Looking for crime. And as you go deeper into the Bat Cave, who do we find? The special lady but Bat over girl. here. Bat Girl, ready to man the computers. Or I don't know. Look machines. at this computer. <laughs> <laughs> this is a legit Bat Cave. You can actually hear the stalactites forming. You can. I know. And the bats. And the bats. Actually, you kind of don't feel like you're in the store anymore back no, here. No, you don't. And then back here, we have some giant rock candy figures. Very I, cool. I love that so much. <laughs> I really want that in my house. I also would like to point out, and I'm gonna randomly pick this Batgirl, the shirt display. Our uh, mannequins have the crown toppers. Another Funko touch in this store. Next, we're entering our anime world where you see many of your anime and other animated television show favorites. As you walk through, you can see all sorts of characters different shows, movies. I just love all the buildings. You can see like all the little lights in each window. And But the coolest part back here is the Godzilla. There's like a tram that's getting destroyed full of huckleberry hounds. You can hear all the planes fighting Godzilla. It's just amazing. You'll see Loungefly is also prominently displayed within Funko HQ, including these Pokemon bags. I really like this one because you can see Rapidash and Ponyta right here on the front. We have now entered Funko University. This is something that we have never done before. We have kind of a learning area where artists can teach new skills, other workshops to, like that yeah, can to happen. Kids yeah, kids and other fans that are in town. We don't know all the details yet, but we're excited about the potential of this space. Now, the middle of the store is dominated by Disney. Yes of all kinds. Yes. As you head over towards the castle, you can see you get all sorts of different Disney lore represented. We got, we've got Frozen, we have Princess and the Frog. Beauty, and the, Beauty and the Beast, yeah. But as it. soon as you turn to the side. But as soon as you cross over, things get A little spooky. darker. Yeah, so you can see you have the giant dragon right in the corner. You have Maleficent reigning supreme. And I like these little guys over here too. Yes, absolutely. Incredible. And we're here in the Pop Factory right now. It's not open yet. The basic idea is you will be able to build your own pop. There's gonna be different pieces similar to like the droid factory that you can see at the Disney park, mm -hmm. but a pop. Yes. So coming soon, yep. we will share more details and video about that when it's ready. Stay tuned. Here we are in the Star Wars section. As you can see, it is Hoth themed. Wampa Buddy, got Luke up there. Luke's hanging out. In peril. And then as you go through the Hoth section, you can see some snow troopers. You can see Darth Vader up there plotting some evil deeds, I guess. <laughs> and another fun thing about this section is this lighting will change throughout the day. Yes. Right now it's set on morning, but there's like a 
sunset and twilight lighting. We really gotta come back for the sunset lighting. It's beautiful. We're in the Harry Potter inspired world now. It's incredible. <laughs> There's a lot of detail really in here. Amazing. A lot of cool items to look at. So we're kind of greeted with a table of some of our newest items, some cool uh, t-shirts, some pops, things like that. But really, when you start to explore, the experience is the best part. There's some storefronts to check out. There's a lot of cool details added into each window, so definitely make sure to stop yeah, and explore. Please take a second to look and see how much detail our store designers put into it. And again, like there's more details beyond just what's down here. I mean, above, you can see there's a Crookshanks mystery mini and uh, other, oh, other figures. Yeah, <laughs> this is the creepiest corner, would you say, in the store? One million percent. This is the Harry Potter section. Could not be more accurate, it feels like. Now we're in the land of Marvel, yes. maybe New York City inspired a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. We are not outside, although it might look like that. My favorite part, I'm just going to say right now, is the pigeons. It's not the Hulk versus Hulkbuster matchup. It's not Spider-Man and the Green Goblin <laughs> over there. Nope, it's the pigeons and the boots. This is all happening right outside of Mariotti's. Pizza and pasta. Pizza and pasta. And then we have a newsstand <laughs> with Stan the Man manning the stand. Oh, wow. And then, uh, of course, we have the chimichanga truck with Deadpool on top enticing you to get a chimichanga. <laughs> Another one of my favorite parts of this area is the apartment that's supposed to be super detailed. Inspired by like a fanatic's room basically. If you look through the window you can see all sorts of collectibles on the on the shelves and all a bunch of posters and things like that. There's a lot of really cool detail to everything in this store but especially this apartment. Could really spend hours in here. Yes. But that does it for our tour, and uh, thank you guys for checking out our new store. I hope many of you can come visit soon, sooner rather than later. Yes. And check it out for yourself. You've really got to see it and experience it. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you soon.